Bayana Bayana of South Africa, the reigning African champions have arrived in Nigeria ahead of the final round 2024 party of the big games qualifiers against the Super Falcons. Now, the team under Desrealis touched down in Abuja on Sunday afternoon, brimming with confidence. Now, South Africa defeated Tanzania 4 0 on aggregate to set up the clash against uh, the Super Falcons of Nigeria. The first leg takes place at the Moshut Abiola Stadium in Abuja on Friday, 5th of April, with the vest fixture set for Tuesday, 9th of April, at the Lotus Vestfield Stadium in Pretoria in South Africa. Now, the winner over both legs will advance to the party 2024 Olympic Games. Now, joining us to talk about the match that is expected this week is uh, the editor of sports, uh, Intel Dorenji. Of course, talking about uh, editor of Badino joins us this afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to In The Game. All right, uh, while we'll wait for editor of Badino, let's let you also know that the Super Falcons of Nigeria also have started arriving. And uh, amongst the list of uh, persons that have arrived in Nigeria is the coach of the side. Coach Randy Waldrum. Now, against earlier doubts of his availability for this game, Randy Waldrum, uh, you know, he decided to choose between his club side in the United States of America, talking about University of Pittsburgh, and, uh, you know, I decided to choose Nigeria you know, to come coach for the game that will go down, go down on Friday. Now, Waldrum, who is also in charge of University of Pittsburgh, is among the early beds to the team's camp on Sunday night. His arrival meant that he would miss the University of Pittsburgh two games within that period. Now, Rashid Ajibade is also expected to be among the early beds as the Super Falcons camp opens on Sunday for the African final qualifying fixture for this year's global showpiece against the Bayana Bayana of South Africa. Young defender Shukura Oladipo, veteran goalkeeper Tochiko Loe, Japan-based Chidima Okeke, and Spain-based forward Gif Monday are also awaited at the camp on Monday. The rest of the squad will be, in the, be on, on Tuesday, although USA-based reigning African Queen of uh, Queen, Aziza Doshola, is not expected until Thursday. Uh, of course, uh, Enito Abadino has joined us already, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Good afternoon to you, Enito Abadino. Welcome to In The Game. Good afternoon, Favor. It's a pleasure to be in the game. All right, quick one. Early arrival for South Africa, I mean... They decided to come in on Sunday. They have a lot of days, you know, for themselves to also acclimatize to the weather. How much of an advantage do you think this will give them? Uh, basically, uh, you know, one thing is very important when, when you're playing football in a crucial game like this, uh, getting used to the weather is very important uh, because, of course, uh, we know a lot of each waves is, uh, is happening all around Nigeria. And for them, they probably would have checked the weather and said, hey, let's come in early. Early and also that when we are here, we are climatized whether they will not be at a disadvantage. And of course, early preparation there for them, it works in their favor, uh, basically, because you have to also recognize that the Nigerian team, most of our players are coming from abroad, and they also need their own time to acclimatize to switch uh, how their body reacts to each of the weather. So it's basically sports science for them. That's why they are coming early. So it should help them uh, in, ter in terms of adding the weather that will be at play uh, when the match will go down. All right, now Bayana Bayana had a week long training camp, and Nigeria will probably have about three to four days together. Should Nigerians be worried ahead of Friday? Even without having three to four days training, even if you have a week, we should be worried about South Africa. Uh, if you go by uh, the last set of results uh, that we've gotten against them, and uh, even for the current coach, uh, you talked about Randy uh, Waldrum, he is yet to beat uh, the South African coach in about two games. And so that tells you that the South African, uh, psychologically, they are up there and they are trying to ch they are challenging, not trying to challenge. They are the African champions also. So uh, you, have to be, you have to be afraid, you have to be worried about how we play. But we also know that the Super Falcons have found, the, uh, they've got a new fans from uh, since the World Cup. Uh, they've been turning up. But there are some mistakes that they will need to correct. Uh, if you watch the game against uh, Cameroon, both legs, a lot of scoring chances when, uh, uh, were not converted uh, by the players. You cannot do that against South Africa. Uh, you have to be very worried that your strikers need to be very sharp. And of course, uh, they, they have to convert most of the chances that come their way because by the time you go to the uh, return leg in South Africa, it's another ball game entirely. So you need an LD advantage going into that return leg. 
So they should be worried. Of course, you know, coming into this week, I will say a bit of the players, Eche Gini, uh, she scored an hat trick. Monday Gift also scored. Uh, Rashida Dajibadi also scored. So we should be expecting that those forms will be translated uh, to national team uh, performance when they come back because we need them to score okay. the goals when the ch uh, chances uh, come against South Africa. All right, uh, let's go straight to what uh, the goalkeeper of South Africa said, Kelly Swart. She said, playing away first is the best for them. On paper, some will agree, but do you agree with the statement made by the South Africa goalkeeper? Just a psychological talk, uh, if you ask me. Uh, basically, uh, football is football, 90 minutes. It depends on these are professionals. Where I, I'm, I'm thinking she's, uh, she's saying those things uh, because she's considering the fact that uh, home advantage when they return. Uh, basically, to South Africa, uh, they have an home advantage playing the first leg first. But if Nigeria does everything right, uh, gets their goals and shut them out, the, the second, the return leg might just be uh, a walk on the park for the Super Falcons. And of course, these are professionals. Anywhere you find yourself, either home or away, this is uh, it's an international qualifying uh, event for the Paris Olympics. So saying uh, playing in Nigeria gives them advantage. No, it doesn't work like that anymore. Uh, this is not an area of home advantage. Uh, you have to consider the fans, of course, the, maybe, maybe she's considering that the number of fans that will turn out. But again, it comes back to the fact that this, are, this is not the first rodeo for both teams playing in, in front of uh, both uh, well, a lot of fans and old star fans. Uh, because it's one thing to have a lot of fans in the stadium. And as another thing to have old star fans uh, trying to distract you and get you, uh, get you to lose concentration and, of course, lose the game. So I don't think there's any advantage. It, it comes down to strategy. How do you execute? Uh, the, the plans that you have in training, you can win anywhere. It's allowed. Uh, you can you can hold a team to enjoy. Uh, I, I could bring in uh, the World Cup qualifier Nigeria Ghana. We played zero zero. That should be an advantage to us in Ghana. But by the time we came back to Nigeria, we were playing one one. It actually puts a lot of pressure on the team in the returning, depending on the results on the first leg. All right, uh, let's look at the uh, the Super Falcons angle. Uh, they started arriving. Coach Randy Waldrum is in Nigeria already. But if you look at the recent updates we are getting. Uh, Ashley Plumter is not going to be part of this game as she has been ruled out of the game. Now, the remaining, defend the remaining number of defenders we have right now is currently six. We have six defenders without the likes of Tosin Demey, amongst others. Isn't this a cause for worry, especially coming up against South Africa's side that are ruthless with um, fast players, you know, from the flanks, having to play against players who have not been together, some of them, for a while? Uh, it, it's a big worry. Uh, it's not just about... Uh, we know that uh, two of our mainstays uh, in the defense, Tosin Demey and, of course, Ashley Pomcha, uh, basically will not be part of the game. Uh, one way or the other, be, uh, Ash, uh, Demey, because of injury, Ashley Pomcha, uh, we are here to hear, uh, get the full details why she's pulling out at last minute. So that puts a lot of pressure on what we are lining up. The many defenders we have in that team, uh, Shukri Atoladipo, uh, uh, Nigerian-based player, Michelle Aloze, she's the essence, she's been, uh, she's been part of that team. And of course, Os Osna Chio Hali, uh, one of the big mainstays. Then uh, Nicole Payne and Chidima Okeke, they are both making a return. Chidima Okeke, it depends on the Chidima that is coming. Uh, uh, if you watch, the last time we watched her in the national team colors was at the 2019 World Cup in France. And where she was huge, she provided the assist uh, for uh, Susan Oshola in her second group game uh, to get the goal. But uh, she's gone through a lot of injury worries, and now she, I think she's playing in Israel. Uh, th so that gives us a lot of work because we are coming in with about two new set of uh, defenders, while our two mainstay uh, are out. And yes, the South Africans are fast, very fast. That's one of the advantages. Uh, when you look at Katlana, uh, basically how fast she could run, and uh, of course, trying to catch us on the counter. Uh, it's a difficult call, uh, and uh, Randy Wadham has got his work cut out in fashioning a team that can hold, especially the defensive lineup that can hold the South Africans uh, at bay. Would have expected uh, him to have uh, found the replacement if he had done that. Uh, Plante was uh, 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 pulling out at the last minute. Of course, uh, we're also surprised that the likes of Gloria Bona, who are an experienced part of the uh, players uh, of our Super Falcons, were not invited uh, for that game. And then instead of bringing the likes of Shukar Aladipo for a testy duel, as this a, a duel that means a lot because Nigeria has not been to the last two three Olympics, and that tells you that and okay. uh, it's a tough call for Nigeria to get it to the Olympics. And you are playing against the South Africa, so uh, I'm I'm worried. If you ask me, I'm basically worried on how he's going to line up. We know Ohali will be there. We know um, uh, Alozi will be there playing the fullback. How does he manage the rest of the setup?
All right, uh, we'll wait to see what he does with the ladies on Friday. But, of course, uh, we can only keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Thank you very much, Anito Abadino, for your time. And uh, we we'll hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure.